This is groups, completely different, mostly groups, and a lot of kits. So you have kits, loops, MIDI external sand outputs, like to a drum machine, like uh, the TR-09. We have multi-effects, all kind of effects here. One of my favorites here is this fake wah-wah effect right there. And let's go back to the beginning. Here we have kits, all kinds of kits. And these kits have patterns to them. Some of them have patterns, some don't. And you'll notice at the bottom, we can actually audition. You'll see here a speaker icon right there, right? And you can see right here, we can move the level up or down. So I can come to here, I'll just tap this. That's kind of low, right? So you're gonna notice one thing for sure, that that is tied to the audio output of my computer. You do not see any input going into the meters here inside the software for machine. Now, if I load this in, I have to double click it to load it in. It says, wait, error. Please activate that. So I don't have that activated. Let's, let's turn this off. I'll go to this one right here. And it loads in, but there's no pattern. When I play it here, I hear a pattern. This pattern tells me what each sound in that group somewhat sounds like, right? And of course, we see no audio output right here inside the machine software in the upper right hand area. Right here, right? No way to control that except through our own computer system. So this sounds or these sounds end up going to the output of my computer. Let me lower that down a little bit. So I can actually increase that too right here. That's increased here, pretty good, right? You notice here too also, we have routing and patterns. This is info, info about the group. And see it says group right there, of course. We see the date, this is 2016, it was modified. We see the size, we see the extension, and we see it's Native Instruments, the author and the vendor for this group. Now, one thing you'll notice too, we have this like almost like a uh, square, like seven on top, seven on the bottom. And so here, if I select this and I select the pattern, it will load automatically. Right? It's like not the pattern, but the group will. I select 808 kit. It loads right here already. It just loads. I can go to eight ball one time. It just loads right up. It won't play the pattern either. Notice that. Now, what I can do is I can come to here and I'm saying now, if I do press load, it will load the pattern also as well. So let's load something else up. Let's load this top one up here. Okay, there we go again. So some aren't activated. I go to here again. Now this loads with the pattern. I'll press play. And you'll notice now the output is now going through the software's system. That's the difference. When we're auditioning sounds, it's going right to our computer, the audio output. When they're loaded inside of machine, they're going right through the machine software. That means it's going through all the routing. If I click right here, it's going through right here. I'll press right here, it's going through the mixing board. You can see that. Let's click back, back where we started. Now also, there can be routing for these sounds. Let's go back here, let's do this. Let's undo this, new. I'll select new, discard that, great. Now I wanna load the routing in. I'll put the routing in here, and now I'll just hit it once again. It loaded up, but see this routing now. You see, there are sounds, we see sub, we see thin, main, attack, that's the main. We see advanced, this is module. So if I come to here in main, this is for the kick drum right here. A plugin for the kick drum, we have tuning, decay, bend, time, this is really cool. I come up to here now, I can see the IO, the input and output. I can see auxiliary sends, there are none in this one. I come to here though, I see nothing as well. I come to here, 
I just see the levels for the main master output. So be aware of that. Some come with routing, some don't. And it's good to look at the routing to know where certain sounds are going. So I can come back here to a sound. And I want to see if some sounds change. They don't in this program. Some will in other groups. Now, I can actually go back in here again. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go press new group. I'll press new, rather, new project or just to save or to discard. I'll discard this project. And down here, of course, I'll look at editing. And here in editing, I can see what's going on, of course. It's a kit, right? So it's in the kit groups right there. Kits, loops, all the stuff right there. You'll see here, it's a drum kit. So we have general and we have types. And so they're labeled here as a type of drum kit, kits, drum kit. And this is the name of that kit right here. So that's how we can load kits in. And we can also load loops the same way. I come here and loop. Let's say it's a guitar loop. Let's find guitars. Go to here's a guitar loop. I'll grab this. Whoa. If I hit that one time, look what happens. This all loads in right here. It loads in routing, patterns, everything. I can play it from the top. Let me turn this down somewhat to make sure we're not going to go too berserk here. Okay, that's it.